frustration, pain, sickness, barrenness, disease, recession, lack, poverty, failure, despair. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the glory of the Lord shall arise upon thee. So cheer up, rejoice, your change has come. God sent forth his word, and that word healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. Join Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network International as he takes you on a journey into God's healing and restoring word, its intimacy, its partnership, its fellowship. This is Koinonia. How great is our God, sing with me our praise, oh sing our praise. Is my God? Would you help me sing my praise? Is our God? Oh, I'll sing my praise. How great is our God? Express yourself to the Lord and say, Lord, oh, shut. I have come with hunger tonight. Inside, outside, go ahead. The Spirit of God is everywhere. And His power is present to heal wherever you are. If you can hear my voice, then the Spirit of God is present to heal. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, it's your statement of faith tonight, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe the Lord. I believe. Oh Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believes. Say, Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes that blind eyes can open. Blessed is she that believes that deaf ears can open. Blessed is she that believes that doors of destinies can be opened. He said, for unto her there shall be a performance. The performance is only for them that believe. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. They looked up to him and their faces were lightened. They looked up to him and their faces were lighted. Say, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. From whence cometh my help? Say, my help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. Let worship rise in this place. You are 
are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Almighty God. You are worthy to be celebrate His presence. nothing is impossible tonight oh you have come to a realm where everything is possible the power of God is present to heal the power of God is present to deliver doors of destiny will be opened by the spirit make sure you participate in every aspect of the worship Oh, it's possible. It's possible. I bring you a word from the Holy Ghost. It's possible. Whatever it is, no matter how impossible it is. Hey, mama, na 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 ma ye. Hey, baba, ba ya na 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 mo kosi ya na 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 na. Hey, baba, ya na 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 na. Hey, kabari ya na 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 na. Hey, na na ma kari. Hey, para ba shata ba kari ya. Your breakthrough is possible. The impossible situation can change. If it has a name, it has a need, and it will bow. Let faith rise tonight. Let faith rise tonight. Shout of the king in this house. Do you know the song? Listen, I need you to understand that when you praise God, it's an instrument in the realm of the spirit. When you praise God, he inhabits the praises of his people. Are you listening to me? And tonight we want to touch the heart of God. When you sow to the realm of the spirit, God will give you a harvest tonight. Worshippers, are you ready to help me with that song? Yes, Spirit, have your way. Sure. Hallelujah. There's a shout of a king in this house. Come on, celebrate him, everybody. The power is here. There's a great anointing. There's a great anointing working. The Spirit of God is in this place. The Spirit place. of the Lord is here. There's a shout. There's a shout of a king in this house. There's a great anointing. There's a great anointing working. Oh, yeah. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit of your way.
Another shout. There's a shout of a king in this house. There's a great anointing. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. For the spirit of the Lord is here. There's a shout of a king. There's a shout of a king. The great anointing. The great anointing working. Come on, say. The spirit of the Lord is the spirit of the way. Come on, say. Heed us today. He will take control. How we a change. How sweet. Come on, say. Spirit of the way. a very big God who, who oh, is always by my side. Hold on. Listen. God. We are going to celebrate God and celebrate His miracle. So find a dancing partner because I need us to let the devil know huh. that Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Instrumentalist, are you ready? Yeah. I have a very big God who, who is always by my side. A mighty God who, by my side. By my side. I have a very big God. Oh, a very big God. Oh, mighty God. Oh, I'm on high. Yeah, I have a very big God. You are always by my side. Yeah. A mighty God. Oh, Come on, and you're the flow. Let me see you dance. I have a very big God. Oh, oh it's always by my side. God. Oh, by my side. One more time. I have a very big God. A very big God, oh. People they ask me, say, now where we did they make me stop? Hey, hey. I just say, tell them, say, now Jesus they make me stop. One more time, say, people they ask me, say, now where did they make me stop? Shine, 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 shine,
the opportunity to watch one film. The name of the film is Shout at the Devil. Come on. again you thought you were just being excited these are patterns in the realm of the spirit it's not an empty and a foolish shout hallelujah hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. We're in an atmosphere where His presence is mighty, great. Ah, my capo so pare, then copay. You are beautiful beyond description. You're too marvelous for words. You're too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard. Ever seen. Come on, inside and outside, let's worship Him. Who can grant? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond the scripture. Majesty and throne on high, inside and outside, can you lift your hands as we stand in awe of the mighty God? I stand in all of you, Lord. I stand, Lord. I stand in all of you, Holy God. To whom all praise is due, Lord. We stand one more time. Let's join the saints and the angels.
Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 4. Such a mighty presence of the Holy Ghost in this place. There will be a rain of miracles, signs, wonders, deliverances, emancipation, a release. Matthew chapter 4 verse 23 and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people 24 and his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments. And those who were possessed with demons. And those who were epileptics. And those who had palsy. And he healed them. And he healed them. Chapter 8. Chapter 8, verse 16. And the evening was come. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that they were sick. 17. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmity. And bore our sickness. Chapter 9. Verse 35. And Jesus went about all cities. And villages. Teaching in their synagogues. And preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And healing every sickness. And every disease among the people. Hallelujah. Please be seated for just five minutes. Hallelujah. My heart is touched by the hunger and the expectation. I understand that several people came here trusting God for diverse kinds of miracles others miracles in their bodies miracles in their finances miracles in their spiritual life but I needed to understand that no matter how impossible the situation looks the power of God is present are you listening i have good news for you you don't have to go back the way you came because jesus is in this place oh and he's alive he's alive he's alive he's the alpha and omega the first and last is he the cross of sin is broken, we have perfect liberty. For the Lamb of God is with us. alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's the Alpha and Omega. The first and the last. The first and last is He. The cause of sin is broken. We have perfect liberty. For the Lamb of God is risen. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. He went 
about doing good. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he said he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. The word of God says for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may liquidate, annihilate, destroy the works of the wicked one. Satan is a very wicked person. I need you to know that from the garden of Eden, sickness, poverty, failure, retardation, these things were not part of the packages of God. Until you are convinced that God is not the author of these things, your heart will not be open to receive. Are you listening to me? So point number one is to believe that the enemy had done this. The Bible says God is love. Say after me, God is love. And say after me, God is good. A lot of people have been convinced that God is the author of sickness. God is the author of failure. And we've given Satan an opportunity to destroy our lives. We keep justifying the things that Satan brings to our lives. But tonight I need you to know that Jesus came to destroy all that Satan had done in our lives. Hallelujah. Jesus is not the author of sickness. I don't care what kind of sickness it is. Jesus is not the author of failure. He's not the author of poverty. He's not happy when a man and his wife are fighting at home because of lack of money. He's not the author of all of these kinds of things that we suffer in our society. Hallelujah. Number two, I needed to understand that Satan has been defeated. Say after me, Satan has been defeated. A lot of believers treat Satan as though he is yet to be defeated. And so we try to defeat him. No, sir. When Jesus hung upon that cross, he said, it is finished. The Bible makes us to understand that he made a public show. Satan and his cohorts triumphing over them in judgment. So Satan has been defeated over your life, over your health, over your finances. Satan has been defeated. It's important that you are convinced that Satan has been defeated. Hallelujah. Satan will not be defeated. Satan has been totally and completely defeated. Hallelujah. Number three. The victory has been given unto you. Oh, you need to know this. A lot of people know that Christ has the victory. But very few understand that he has given this victory to the church. Say after me, I have the victory. Say after me, I have the victory. One more time, say, I have the victory. The next point, faith is the victory faith faith is the victory the bible says and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith even our capacity to believe the report of the lord he said who has believed our report and to whom has the arm of the lord been made known You've got to believe God's report. Whose report have you been believing? Medical doctors? Let me tell you something. There is no sickness represented on the earth that does not have a testimony of someone who has been healed from it. Including death. There is no sickness. And the word of God tells me that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. The same today. The same forever. Cancer has been healed. Blindness has been healed. Deafness has been healed. 
demonic oppression people have been set free your case is not new Solomon said there is nothing that is new under the sun hear me the word of the Lord has been tried through all of this and been found faithful that's why we believe his word oh Lord I believe your report so tonight will you for one minute lay aside the report of doctors thank God for the medical people they are doing their best and we appreciate them but tonight will you squeeze away every testimony that contradicts the integrity of God's word that's why you came I'm stirring up faith in you because God is going to be doing great and mighty things hallelujah when you comprehend the might and the majesty of God you will know that there is no situation that is too great for him when Isaiah saw him the Bible says in the year that King Uzziah died I Isaiah saw the Lord and he saw him high and lofty mighty great he didn't look like he could be intimidated by any situation God is not intimidated by any situation and so let faith rise in your spirit it doesn't matter what area of your life you've been suffering it's not called a healing service it's called a miracle service so whether healing miracles whether financial miracles let me tell you something you must make up your mind that the struggle in your life will end are you listening to me the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion until you get annoyed and dissatisfied with your present situation you will never move forward hallelujah when a baby is nine months old in the womb of the mother the baby begins to express severe dissatisfaction a call for a change of environment hallelujah and you must get dissatisfied i need for your heart to be opened to say lord i'm not going back the way i came many of us have come with all kinds of challenges prayer requests many of us have come from far and near you cannot afford to go back the same are you listening to me there are many families that are represented here being buffeted by satan but i need you to know that jesus is alive and let the oppression end tonight i don't care what the sickness is hiv cancer tumor whatever it is it will melt in the light of his glorious presence Satan has had a field day molesting people including believers and that's why God led us to put a miracle service a special notable miracle service where God will set you on a course and a plane where God will there are many of us that certain doors are just closed it works for everybody until it gets to your turn why will you not move forward in your life am i provoking someone you must see the need for a miracle you may not be sick but is this the best of your life hallelujah it's time for the lord to upgrade our lives the bible says gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your eyes there is a beauty and a glory that god wants to leave as a deposit of his presence so that the world will know that Jesus reigns. Hallelujah. He's a merciful God. There are many of us here that what the Lord will be doing. Your miracle is to be separated from your past. A total separation. Like the Red Sea separated the Israelites from the Egyptians. God is going to be burying some things about your life. That has stopped you from moving forward there are many of us that god will be laying to rest certain habits and things strongholds that impede our movement the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses 
it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and I'm happy because many of us will find rest from sin tonight yes there are many of you who have come you have struggled in this life being a servant unto sin and unto Satan but John chapter 3 verse 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have the way eternal life a quality of life that is superior to sin and Satan and sickness and death hallelujah there are many of us that have been victims of tragedies in our families again and again by the way if you did not bring your prayer request now is the time you can please collect a, a paper a pen and a paper for those of you who received it as text messages as you're listening to the message just have it because we're going to be praying and let me tell you something no devil will stop your prayer from being answered tonight i'm preparing your heart for what the lord will do while i was preparing for this meeting i spoke to the lord and i said lord my life must show forth a greater dimension of your glory and i prayed i said lord i'll be the first partaker of this miracle and someone sent me a text and reminded me of this scripture that said the husband man shall be the first partaker hallelujah the first partaker and so i welcome you tonight to a feast of miracles a feast of the manifestation of the spirit in your life many of you will leave this place stepping into unusual realms of visions unusual realms of power unusual realms of grace supernatural you will be so full of the holy ghost that when you step out of this place your world will know there is something about your life and so holy spirit we thank you holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place one more time holy spirit thou art welcome holy spirit thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. So I like for your faith to rise take away the walls and all the things that look like limitations are you listening to me i like you to say god is able and he will give me a new name the bible says he will give you a new name say after me god is able and he will give me a new name so let faith rise in your spirit as the power of God moves healing setting men free stepping men into levels of glory and wisdom and blessings and favor make sure that you are a part taker press like the woman with the issue of blood and say if I may but touch the helm of his garment that woman did not consider her reputation are you listening to me many of you will need to lay aside your reputation and press and say Lord if it takes me rolling on the floor I will press some things about my life will change hallelujah 
Many of you will need to hold on to him like Jacob and say, Lord, I will not let you go. You've got to drop a deposit of your presence upon my life and upon my destiny. And let the nations know that my God is alive. And I prayed for every one of you. And I said, Lord, for as many who will come and hear me, all of you, inside and outside, I need you to know that his presence is here. His presence, his glorious, manifest presence is here. The last scripture and then we'll begin to pray. Luke chapter 4. Oh, I sense such an unusual presence of the Holy Ghost the Lord told me there will be an unusual activity of angels unusual angelic activities Luke chapter 4 verse 16 Luke 4 16 And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day when 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 today say this day i'd like you to prophesy over your life this day this scripture will be fulfilled in my life Say after me this day tonight tonight not tomorrow tonight this scripture will be fulfilled in my ears rise up on your feet let your spirit be open Cabo satire the power of God is strong mighty in this place Lebrando Casata Go ahead and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Set the atmosphere as you pray in the Holy Ghost everywhere, inside and in the overflow. Go ahead and begin to pray. Leba kata brande gede baladabasha, rakata baladabasenda kataya. Unto the one who is able, unto the mighty God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Leka pariaga balaka, le koriete basata baliaka. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I know you are able. My heart is open. I came for business tonight. I came for business tonight. I came for business tonight. I came to receive a miracle. Lion of Judah. The Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, most high. The Lion and the Lamb, Lion of Judah, hail His Majesty. The Lamb upon His Majesty.
on you you came here you've been having pain on the right side just the right side of your hand i like you to come out quickly pain on the right side of your hand inside outside please be attentive pain at the right side the lord is going to heal you palika prash tabariandaka make maria de balaramas eka maria da mali ekata e baba yana na mayara dai pain at the right side the right side of your hand abaria na na mas eka prage de balaraba paro koto maria na 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 mas e karia na 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 i hail you the lord heals you in the name of jesus be healed by the power of the holy ghost kota paria ketaya be healed in the name of the lord jesus go back and check yourself make sure you check yourself be healed by the power of the holy ghost in the name of the lord jesus be healed now by the power of the holy ghost let that pain go 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 by the power of the holy ghost be healed by the power of the holy ghost be healed by the power of the holy ghost be healed by the power of the holy ghost be healed by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus go back and check yourself do what you could do swing your hands do what you could do be healed now by the power of the holy ghost be healed by the power of the holy ghost from ulcer ulcer every kind of peptic ulcer peptic ulcer i like you to run out here quickly ulcer confirmed medically confirmed ulcer hurry up and run out here the power of god where you are standing there is such grace and power hali ke bondo subeganesh raka parikete peptic ulcer inside and outside you came for a miracle haketa barikete ya many of you as you stand here the power of god the power of god will begin to touch you even before we pray for you there's a glorious atmosphere there is a stirring of the waters peptic ulcer hate barakata baliaka rando soto peke bahas Arekete bakata balada ba Era bateke sobata Koto soto ba Rekete he Rekoto batise keta Arego to sibegele
before. I like you to shout, I am healed. Now check yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Check yourself. Many of you will find out that you just received a miracle. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Celebrate it. There are miracles all around. Supernatural miracles. Check it. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Members of the media, just locate the members of the media and register your testimony. Check yourself. Breathe in and out. No devil will stop you. Hallelujah. Every kind of growth, I don't care what it is. Hear me. Every kind of growth, cancer, fibroid, I'm not going to ask you to come out, but I want to pray for you. Right where you are, hear me. There is such an unction in this place for the miraculous. Are you listening to me? There is the gift of faith and the working of miracles. Pakatopa Sidaka. Reketeba. Manto Sotaba. Rekete de Bosa. Maka Rekete Bata. Rekete Tebakasa. Also, every kind of cancer. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Cancer. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Fibroid. Be gone. Fibroid, be gone. Fibroid, be gone. Fibroid, be gone. Lumps, go in the name of Jesus. Lumps, be healed. Be healed. I command you to dissolve right now. Every growth, every swelling in any part of your body, I command. I decree, let it dissolve right now in the name of Jesus. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. I like you to check yourself. Check the lump. Check the cancer. Check whatever it is. Do it right now. Do it right now. And celebrate the miracle you are receiving. Do it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Saka pariyakatai. Parando sopregete. Sokete balai. Hear me. There are many of you that have been oppressed by Satan. Whether in your dream, they are not all of you. Are you listening to me? But there are a few people you may not even know. The power of God will fall on you. Inside, outside. Hear me, get set. As the power of God falls on them. Let me have them right here. Hallelujah. So take up Ariata. In the name of Jesus. Every devil. Everyone, I like you to lift your hands. So take up Bare Kotosia. Let the fire fall on you right now. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Be free. Every satanic manipulation. Ushers locate them inside, outside. Inside and outside. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Soko tope reketa. Rote shaya. Manto priyakata. Every demonic oppression. Go, 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 go. Inside, outside, be free right now. Soto Pariaka. Barekete. Rekotosia. Rekerete by. Rondo Sotoba. Reketete Bakata. Roto Shataya. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Boreke Shaba. Barekete Bakata. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Every devil, every demon. Let them go. 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 Let 
Kosovar. No devil can hold you. No devil can hold you. No devil can hold you. Every demon, every devil, every demon, you will not stand this meeting. Inside, outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. There are still two people left, one outside and one inside. Right now, every devil that doesn't want to let you go, I command, be free. One outside, one inside, one outside, one inside. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free, be loose, be loose. One outside, one inside, be loose in the name of the Lord Jesus. You came to be free. Hallelujah. Have the ushers located them. One outside and one inside. One outside, one inside. Acute levels of demonic oppression. All of you at the overflow, I want you to lift your hands. All of you outside, just lift your hands. Holy Ghost, draw that one person. You will not escape. No devil will cover it. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God upon that one person now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for the person outside. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shanda bako pariye kata. Re kata baliye kata mbariya. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of Man made manifest that he may destroy the works of him. Hallelujah. Satan is not as powerful as he has been magnified to be. And brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter whatever challenge. I'm going to speak to all of you in front right now. And the fire of God will sweep across you from my right down to my left the fire will literally burn you holy spirit now let it move across my right down to my left every fire burn off that shaft let her go let her go be free now from every demonic oppression be free now from every demonic oppression. Every demon, go, leave her. Every demon, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Make it about her. You are free. I call you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady is under acute 
oppression. Let that devil leave you, gentlemen. Right now, I command every grip of Satan. You are a spirit. I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Let him go. Now, let him go. Look at what is happening to him. Look at, look at what is happening to him. Watch the spirit manifest through him. Watch the spirit manifest through him. Watch the spirit manifest through him. Leave him. Let him go. Let him go. Now let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Every devil. Let her go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free. You are free. You are free. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Hear the spirit talking back. Now, devil, go. Go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You have been defeated. You have been defeated. Oh, celebrate Jesus. Sir. Your oppression comes to an end. says believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper every demonic stronghold now be free now be free now be free, now. <laughs> be free. you are free by the power of the Holy Ghost Satan, you are a spirit. I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Let this man go. You have been suffering, you don't even know it. But you have done things that are not godly and given Satan access to your life. But tonight, light shines in the darkness. Light shines. Koparika. Light shines. No, let her just step down. Let me tell you something. You love God, but there are windows that are open. I see different accesses, but the power of God will come upon you in a strong way. And every devil working against your destiny will give way. Are you listening to me? But hear me. You've opened up yourself for many things. You have opened up yourself for many things. You've got to culture the things that you receive and the revelations that you embrace. Hallelujah. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Leave her alone. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Be free. Be free. Soto Rokosia. Rekete baria, raboto sope, rekete, rekete na bosh, makora sapa, barata barie kete, rekete tete bakai, barato bosh sope, anta barie kata. Hallelujah. Who is John? John, you are a gentleman. Your name is John. John. Do we have any John here inside and outside? John, come up quickly. John, I'm hearing John in my spirit. Hurry up, why are you standing outside? John, where's your mother? Who was? Hallelujah. Where's your mother? What is what does she do? She sells provision. All that is. She sells provision. All that is. is she fine? Is all going well with her business? No. What is wrong? 
going down. It's going down. Yeah. You know why? No. Is she a Christian? Yeah. She's serious with God. No. She's not no. serious with God. She has put her hands in ungodly things. And the devil is perfecting her seriously. And the plan is to affect you too. Do you know me? No. Hallelujah. Have I discussed this with you? No. God has brought you here to set you free. Amen. Are you going to stand for your mother? There's nothing that is in the darkness. That will not be seen. Hold my hands. He's going to minister to you. He'll pray for you. Whatever he sees, he'll minister and pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before we continue, I sense an interruption in the realm of the spirit. Someone or two people, the spirit of prophecy will come upon you. Ushers, take note. When that happens, two of them, you will be under the power of God and you come out. There is a word that the Lord wants to speak to the people right now. Are you listening to me? Are you ready? Spirit of God, as you have shown me. Now, let there be that manifestation now 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 please bring them out bring them out bring them out the spirit of prophecy one more person that's all we have two of them already Spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. You're going to bring words from the throne. Amazing words from the spirit. Oh my God. Listen. The power of God is ready to break loose. I can't even stop it. Now. I can't stop it. Everywhere. 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 Now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Now. I can't even stop it. I can't stop it. God shot by her. The breaking of the spirit now inside outside in the overflow now now outside receive it outside receive it outside ushers help them ushers help them ushers help them my god my god my god Inside and outside. Bring them outside. Bring them out. All of you lift your hands inside and outside. I like you to shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Oh, he's still falling. He's still falling. At the back. At the back. At the back. 
Those of you at the back, at the back, at the back, now, at the back. Oh, let it be a push. Let it be a push. At the back, at the back. I see an angel at the back. I see an angel at the back. I see an angel at the back. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Now it's time for the two people. You have a word from the Lord. This lady is one of them. Bring her, Janfa. Bring her. Just bring her. Hold her. Speak. from the throne room Now all of you listen to what the Lord is saying. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Just listen to what the Lord is saying. The Lord is doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing. She's manifesting what we call the gift of diverse kinds of talks. It's a message from the Lord. The Lord is saying, I do a new thing. I do a new thing. I do a new thing. That's what the Lord is communicating to you. And I will cause your eyes to see the new thing that I do. I do a new thing. Put the mic. Even by the Spirit. Speak the counsel of the Spirit. Confirm the exact same role that is doing a new thing. Hallelujah.
What's happening? Rain. All of you outside, come. Even if it's to stand, come in. If you can sit at the altar, just come in and find somewhere and sit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just find, stand at the eye. Come in front here. You can sit across. This is not some church thing. Come, draw them. You can sit, sit around. There's no reason why you should be standing outside. If there's no rain, fine. But if there's rain, come, stand, sit. Find anywhere on the floor. Just come and sit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, please. Listen. Those who are experiencing any deafness, if there's any deaf person here, partial deafness or total deafness, lay your hands on your ears. If you brought anyone deaf, instruct the person to lay his or her hands. Go ahead and do that quickly. Listen, not, not everybody can get to go to the back. Some can just organize them around. Please. Some can stand here. You can sit. Just find somewhere. If you, yeah, these steps can be seats. Feel free. Don't feel embarrassed. Just find somewhere and sit around. Sit anywhere. Right here, you can sit close to me. It's good to be organized, but when occasion demands for it, let the people come in. Let some sit. Feel free, sweetheart. Sit down. Right? That's right. Find somewhere and sit. You want to come and sit on the stage? You are free. You are permitted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Right now, what I see in the realm of the Spirit is a reign of the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. With evidence of speaking in tongues. Everybody, please lift your hands. If you are here and you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, for many of you, God will give you new utterance. New utterance. The moment I shout receive, you're not filled with the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, release yourself. The power of God will come upon you and you begin to pray in tongues. The moment I shout receive, for the next five minutes, I want everybody in and outside this auditorium to begin to pray in tongues. For many of you, God will give you new tongues. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Baptism. In the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and begin to pray in tongues. Even if you've never prayed. Receive it. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. From my left to my right to the center, inside, outside. Baptism. With evidence of praying in tongues. New tongues. Glorious tongues. Glorious tongues. Worshippers, hold yourself. Just hold your hands. All the worshippers come on stage. All the worshippers come on stage. All the worshippers. Every one of you, come in and hold yourself. All the worshippers. 
Come and hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Get ready now. Fire on you right now. From you, let it flow to every one of you. Flow now to every one of you. Flow now to every one of you. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. Now, 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 now. miracles in mass I want to give John for opportunity there are few of you that God will have specific words for and when it's done my brother Jimmy will come and give a few words and then we're going to pray don't miss out on any part of this hallelujah I see certain people I saw like incense come over certain people and the Lord told me that these are demons that come to torment the minds of people the minds of people, I see certain people that are under that stronghold of demonic influence. And God says he wants to touch them now, wherever they are. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that let such stronghold over the minds of people be broken. We declare healing right now. We declare that the mind of people be released. We declare that that demons that keep people's mind bound, that help people bonded, be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, I see somebody who came into this meeting. You came with an intense pain around your neck. This side I'm touching, wherever you are, just come quickly, 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 quickly. This part of your neck, you came in with intense pain. You came in with intense pain. This part of your neck, where are you? Where are you? Just in a minute. Lord, I declare wherever that person is right now. I command healing, I command that pain. Go right now, declare your neck to be healed. I declare your neck to be healed in the name of Jesus. Where is BC? Where is BC? BC? Where is BC? Just quickly, please. Where is BC? The Lord says, As they come, ushers, follow them, please. The Lord Let says, the ushers follow them so they don't have to. This angel of war is arising for your family tonight. God says, go tell your sister that that affliction over her home is broken. God says, go tell her that the enemy that stole her children, the Lord brings deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus. Go tell her that the Lord is bringing breakthrough. That affliction is broken. That spirit is broken. Freedom comes to her and your household. In the name of Jesus. My brother, Yagnan, the Lord wants me to minister to you. I don't know, where is your mom right now? She's in Joss. 
I saw in the spirit, I saw certain attacks, certain scorching tongues of men that are risen up against her in the place where she walks. And God says, there have been an intense warfare over her life and even concerning her health. Am I right? Even concerning her health, I've seen warfare over her life. God says right now, he's stretching forth his hand to bring deliverance to her. God says he's silent the tongues of men. He's silent the tongues of men that have risen against her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say a black car just drive into your house. I say a black car just drive into your house. I don't know if your family just got a black car now, but I see a black car just... a black car just driving to your house and the Lord says he's bringing that to your family in the name of Jesus I see the Lord extend a letter to you God says he's opening the door for you God says you shall be called for a door is open for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Lord I thank you thank you because there's an open door and a letter is coming for him and it shall be for good I see a letter being put in your hand I see them calling you in the name of Jesus Where, where is that? The Lord wants me to speak. Where is this woman, this barrister? God says, I should tell your family. God says, even as you leave, as you leave Zaria, He said, I said, I put it in your heart to do. God says, you will find yourself. God says, you will find yourself established in a young growing ministry. And God says, His hand is going to come upon your lives in a new way like you have never seen. I won't see your wife. God says, the spirit of God will come upon her and she'll begin to stir up women to pray and God says by that he will bring deliverance to many homes God says by that he will bring deliverance to many in the neighborhood for God says doors of opportunity are open even in business God says walk into these doors God says walk into these doors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we give you praise is there anybody in this place if you came here with HIV, don't be ashamed, just come. If you came here with HIV, God says he wants to heal that, just come. If you came here with HIV, God wants to give you a miracle. Father, we thank you. Because God says he wants to heal that. Or for whoever you are standing for that has that, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare deliverance right now. We declare supernatural healings right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's it? Where's it, Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy? Hallelujah. Hello, bring the lady. Just bring her. Just leave her. Leave her. Shalom. Peace. Alright, listen, please. The few people here throughout this service you've been feeling listen a literal cloak like a skin literally from the crown of your head especially around your shoulders literally literally i hear god say a new spirit and a new man a new spirit and a new man those people lift up your hands you will feel a weight of god's glory from the crown of your head down to the sole of your feet god says it is for a separation unto intimacy a separation unto intimacy Secondly, God says, it is a mantle of an anointing, a place of intercession and prayer. And the last thing I hear God say, God is separating you, an exodus, an exodus, 
I see those people. One of them is a tall man. A young man, you are very tall. You are very tall. I hear God say, prepare for war. Prepare for war. Prepare for war. Prepare for war. He will teach your hands to war. Prepare for war. Let that gentleman raise up his hands and let God confirm his word with signs and with waters. There are certain ladies here, the mistakes of the past. Sexual immorality has cost you many things. For some of you, it's the loss of your wombs. For some of you, it's venereal diseases. God says he has seen the cry of your heart and he's given you a new womb. Divine replacement. Divine replacement. He says he has forgiven you and he's restoring divine replacement and upon some of you i have seen that the same mantle for an apostolic move is coming upon you but god says you will move by the four winds of his spirit the four winds of his spirit the four winds of his spirit he says that you will not find counsel in everyday things but you will find counsel in the place of prayer he says that the blood will speak for you and fire will mount to you he says he will create a new world by his words. A new world by his words. Lord, confirm your word with signs and with wonders. And there are two men in this place. There are two men in this place. Two men in this place. Elderly men. And this has been your prayer for since the beginning of this year. You said, Lord, I've made a mistake with my life and my destiny. But please, don't let that mistake affect my children. You have children, elderly men. Elderly men. You have regrets. Your life is full of regrets. God says, I should tell you, groom your children in the fear of the Lord. And the things you were supposed to do, even greater they will do. If those people are here, please come. The elderly man. You have children. An elderly man. An elderly man. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Very quickly. Listen. By the Spirit, this is going to be the last phase of the release of miracles. I'm going to be releasing prophetically. Hear me. The moment I mention your case, the power of God is reaching you to set you free. And even if I don't mention your case and I speak, under the unction of the Holy Spirit, you will be made whole. Now is the time. If you brought anybody who, who is sick, now is the time to lay your hands on them. Are you listening if you came with any sick person i'm going to be praying for a release in your mind those of you who are students god will shock you see god will do something in you tonight that will surprise you hallelujah i hear my spirit sexually transmitted diseases be healed now in the name of jesus the mistakes the consequences of the past will not follow you I set you free in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, migraine, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blindness, complete or partial, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every kind of psychosomatism, anybody here with any mental condition, now, Kosata Bariakata, be healed in the name of Jesus. Let every devil of insanity leave you now. Every devil of insanity, go, 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 go Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every blood disease, SS, HIV, every blood disease, if your if your genotype is SS in this place. We change it now in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a sickler here, any sickler, I don't care what the doctors have told you, any sickler, be free forever 
in the name of Jesus. Every hand of death over your life. Many of you have had dreams. Death, death, every hand of death over your life. Right now, by the unction of the Spirit. For you and your families, be free in the name of Jesus. Every curse of poverty over your life, over your family. Enough is enough. And tonight, I decree, be free in the name of Jesus. 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 Where is the lady I called out? Come. Look at me. The Lord says, I will show you mercy. That's what the Lord says I should tell you. That I will show you mercy. Are you listening to me? I don't know what this means to you. But the Lord says I should tell you I will show you mercy. And tonight you find mercy. The mercy of the Lord upon your life. I hear my spirit remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for the Lord does a new thing in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus if you are a student lift up your hands enough is enough listen don't joke with what is going to happen now if you are a student I don't care listen hear me I don't care what your CGPA is under the unction of the spirit Listen, Reke Tabaria. If I be a servant of God in the name of Jesus, I command from glory to glory, receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hear me. Listen. Listen. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are some of you. It's like over half of you will feel like something rests on your head. It's a baptism of intelligence. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Baroko Tosoto. Receive it now. Receive it. A baptism. Baptism. Of intelligence. Receive it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Is enough over your tears in your academics. Hallelujah. And for all of you who have been unjustly treated in your department you are suffering as a result of the wickedness of people hear me right now under this unction be free in the name of Jesus I don't care how long your paper has been missing I command it to be found now in the name of Jesus There are some of you who are supposed to graduate but humanly speaking you know there's no way except God brings a miracle thank God you are in a miracle service shake faculties oh God shake departments change policies I release you we graduate to here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. From the text I sent to some of you, 
right now you're going to receive a baptism of wisdom the bible says many of you have made foolish decisions and hear me friends without wisdom you cannot move forward in life are you ready for the wisdom of god you're going to shout i receive and when you say i receive for some of you you feel fire passing through your spine i don't know why god is saying spine shout i receive Shout, I receive. Shout, I receive. Baptism of wisdom. Baptism of wisdom. Baptism of wisdom. Wisdom beyond your age. Supernatural wisdom. From the throne. From above. make you the head and not the tail wisdom that will set you above wisdom 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 hallelujah hallelujah how many of you came here with your prayer requests Prayer requests. Ushers. Okay. Please, let's have all the prayer requests here. If you've not written your prayer request, please do it quickly. We want to agree. I don't care what it is. If it finds its way to God's altar, you'll be free from it. For yourself, for your loved ones, do this quickly. Please, let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. While that is going on, hear me. If there are children in this place, from age 10 below bring all of them to the front they are going to receive an impartation right now if there are any children in this place from age like 10 below bring all of them right here where are the prayer requests please please make sure you stand in for your loved ones all the children this way from age 10 below ushers guide the children don't miss out on this golden opportunity your prayer request before the lord of sabaoth Have all the prayer requests. Oh, I can say, Lord. Please, ushers, make it fast, make it snappy. Let's have all the children. These children will be anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost. And they will do great and mighty things. The children will never give any parents here trouble. Hallelujah. 
Jesus is Lord. I will say. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Let him alone be glorified. Let's have all the prayer requests. Sing, Lord, I pretend. We are waiting for you. It's not too late. You can pick me right and bring it. Quickly, quickly, let's have the requests. Ushers, is this all? Media department, the prayer requests from the internet. I hope we have them here. The ones on Facebook and Twitter. us to be very fast about this now hear me all of these requests represent for some of us impossible situations and as the servants of God we are going to pray and speak over this request and hear me while this is happening I like you to be receiving in your spirit for yourself and for your loved ones I like to invite Every minister of the gospel here, please I'd like you to come on stage. Every minister of the gospel, let's do it quickly, quickly. We're a servant of God in this place. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to go down our knees and pray on this request. And as we do that, I'd like the worshippers to continue. I'd like you to receive whatever request it is that found its way to this place under the unction of God I don't care what it is by the spirit I want to tell you that situation is over hallelujah servants of God let's go ahead and go down sing Lord I receive round up this prayer. Can we hold our hands together, servants of God? Jesus. 
Shabako. Jesus. 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 It's done. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Now, listen to me. Hear me. The greatest miracle in this place tonight is not the bodily healings or the spiritual things that God is doing. There are many of us today that will begin a new and a fresh journey with the Lord. Hallelujah. There are many of us that have been running away. God has been calling you to be born again. Calling you to the experience of a new life. But there are many of us that have let Satan have his way over our lives. I'd like to tell you that tonight there is hope. Hallelujah. And the Lord is calling you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you have done. The greatest miracle to happen in this place is the miracle of salvation and hear me if you've never been born again you've never given your life to God quit running away from him all of these miracles are a sign to prove to you that he is love and that you you can trust him with your life hallelujah you've never given your heart to the Lord or you've given your heart to the Lord and you've derailed. The moment I count three all over this building, I'd like you to leave your seat and run out here. We are a family. Now is not the time to think about it. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Leave your seat quickly. Leave your seat and run out. Run. Don't walk. Run out and come and make Jesus Lord of your life. All of you, from inside, outside, leave your seat. Jesus is calling you. Leave your seat. Jesus welcomes you. Keep clapping and appreciate them. It's over. It's over. It's over. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Keep clapping. They are coming. We will wait for you. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, appreciate them. Run to Jesus. Don't stay back. The Lord is calling you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there are still a few people who are waiting for you, as the Holy Ghost tells you, come out, leave your seat and come. Hallelujah. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. It doesn't matter what you have done. The Lord is willing to forgive you. And this miracle service was put for you. That there be a translation from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's grace. Hallelujah. Now look at me. Those of you standing here, listen to me. I need you to understand that no one condemns you. Are you listening to me? The ministry of condemnation does not come from the Lord. It doesn't matter what you have done. Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter what you have done. Tonight can be a fresh night for you. And with love we receive you to this great family of faith. It's my honor to lead you to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the greatest miracle. This is why all of this was put for you. Beyond the healings, 
we celebrate your salvation all of you who are standing in one minute i'd like you to talk to jesus by yourself go ahead and talk to jesus say jesus i'm sorry and i now mean business with you make sure you talk to him he loves you don't let anyone condemn you talk to jesus talk to jesus talk to jesus hallelujah look at me now i'd like to pray with you say after me dear lord jesus as loud as you can you're not reciting this you're confessing it with faith in your heart say after me dear lord jesus i accept and i'm a sinner unable to help myself but i believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me and you rose again for me and today i accept your love i accept your sacrifice i declare that i'm born again i receive eternal life into my spirit i denounce sin i denounce satan i declare according to god's word that i am heaven bound i'm a new creation heaven is rejoicing over my salvation no more going back in the name of jesus let's appreciate them the greatest the greatest decision the greatest decision hallelujah now i want to congratulate every one of you some of you are crying i need you to know that god loves you and this is the beginning of a brand new day hallelujah now in one minute i just like you to follow the ushers they'll have your details and will make arrangements to follow you up adequately just move towards this direction appreciate them give jesus praise hallelujah hallelujah now for the sake of time we'll take only three testimonies three testimonies of what god has done in this place i know there are many but let's say okay come quickly who else three testimonies very quickly in this place hallelujah come and then let's have two more and we'll take the testimonies one the last person very quickly very quickly okay hallelujah all right please be seated for a while we'll soon be out of here hallelujah all right please i want to thank god please listen listen i want to thank god for myself and my friend she actually left with those people that just left now when we are about to come for this i will i she told me that a friend invited her so i was like you of all people <laughs> inviting me to church she was like let's just go because if i tell her let's go to church like i should not disturb her that she doesn't want to go so she was let's just go so we came here she was like she's not even feeling herself because she used to have this migraine she fell from the bridge some time ago so she used to have this terrible migraine mental disorder she has she can't remember anything at all so she just came out here right now she's telling me that she's feeling she's feeling like a new person right now and i'm so happy that we came here to the glory of god is so i want to where i rather be than be right here with him he's so merciful in our life and i want to thank god god is faithful thank god for everything Hallelujah. praise the lord praise the lord i want to thank god for healing me i I've had this ulcer from secondary school. I've been prayed for several times, but whenever I go back, it will reoccur again. But just now, as I was standing, after I've been prayed for, it came back again. I said, feeling the pain, and I said, no, today there is no going back. I'm not accepting you. And immediately it disappeared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ulcer healed. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate God for the word that came our way this evening. The word we are exact and tell on me i got a call this afternoon before i came for this meeting from the person i intend to do business with 
my wife does not even know about the call apart from those who were with me when i got that call nobody else knows about that call and in this meeting god mentioned that call and the business i want to confirm that the words of prophecy that came here they are not guesswork they are precise praise be the name hallelujah lord we give you praise I'm seeing a vision of a particular woman, not less than 50 years of age, a fair woman. She had eye challenge and suddenly is, is becoming blindness. God is showing me somebody's mother here. Your mom is fair. Your mom is not less than 50 years of age. She has an eye disease that has suddenly become blindness. Where you just lift up your hands. God is showing God wants to bring perfection to your mom. Where are you? Come, let's pray for your mom. We cast blindness away from your mom. We cast blindness away from your mom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command that our eyes be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Go tell your mom that the Lord Jesus Christ makes her whole. Amen. coming blind to God we declare in the name of Jesus that your mom is free we command that her eyes is healed and open go tell your mother that Jesus makes her whole amen hallelujah you can register your testimonies with the media department hallelujah those of you who need to go to the hospital to check yourselves tomorrow go to the hospital check yourself and let's know the great things that Jesus is doing in this place hallelujah of Jesus, a devil of darkness. Come out now. She's free. Pick her up. We bless you. You'll never be the same. Never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will put a prophetic fire upon you begin to have strange dreams and visions. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Any one of you who is sick here, we set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command that a fire will come upon your life. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I'd like you to just follow the ushers one minute and they'll have your details. They'll be back. Appreciate them, everyone. Let's listen to the following announcements and we're out. Sorry we took so much time. That's alright. Okay. Decoration and aesthetics department. Interested persons who want to serve with the above department should please wait at the minister's seat. This is only for decorations, please. If you want to be part of them, immediately after the meeting, Hallelujah. The above department is not open to final year students. All right, so decoration. If you are in final year, I think they want people who stay for a while. Hallelujah. Our school of ministry officially commences tomorrow. Are you happy about that? Hallelujah. I'm excited. Please, all the students should be seated by 8.30. 8.30, please. The venue is God's Time Secondary School, behind Cheltech Leather Research. That's behind, beside Jawom. Hallelujah! Please be seated by 8:30. This is from the Welfare and Hospitality Department. Donuts and chilled zobo are available for sale after the meeting. Please, after the meeting, you can refresh yourself in Jesus' name. All those going to Congo should please converge at the projector stand outside immediately after the meeting. Please just move immediately so that you can, um, you can be attended to. Free bus transportation is available after the meeting and then our bus project is still on. Hallelujah. I'll call on my darling to come and pray for us. Sweetheart, come. Oh yeah, it's your turn. Appreciate her. She's a 
latest woman of God we are praying. A very old one, stop there. Anything outside it, hallelujah. I'm telling you, we are training this lady to become a powerful woman of God. Hallelujah! Pray for us. Her. Hallelujah. Please celebrate her mother. Come on, madam. Stand up, let's see you. The proud mother of a lovely child. Hallelujah. Some of you, when you were our age, bless you, sweetheart. I'm telling you, we are proud of the children here. We'll buy biscuit for them next week. If you are age one to ten, just come next week smiling. Once you are above ten years, even by one day, forget it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for your people. Bless them in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life. You are anointed to do exploits. The Lord grants you, grants you wisdom and discernment in Jesus' name. You are growing from glory to glory. I rebuke death over you. 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 Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.